welcome to sai surya's academy a very big thank you for all the new subscribers and our channel supporting viewers now in today's video we are going to discuss about the c data types as part 2 video already we had discussed about the tokens used in c constants and then data types as part 1 video in the part 1 video we had already discussed about the integer data types which consists of integer short int and then long int how the ranges differ between the three categories that is integer short int and long int and how the ranges are specified for the integer signed as well as unsigned a step by step detailed procedure has been given in part 1 video if you want you can check that in the i button now we are in a, we are going to discuss about the float and the character data types the remaining one is the void data type it has been already discussed so many times that void will not return any value it has been used in functions which doesn't return any value now we are moving to the float and the character data type now consider the character data type always occupies 1 byte only and its format specifier is percentage c the character it has two categories signed and unsigned always a decimal numbers one or a float numbers can have only decimal numbers have a signed or a unsigned how a character can have a signed and a unsigned first we will we'll discuss about the float don't skip the video we will next discuss about the character data type okay float what is the float data type the integer data type we all know that it contains only the whole numbers no decimal point is allowed here consider a float suppose we want to measure a temperature or we want to measure a density of a particular material it should be in a decimal values that is for maintaining accuracy we will maintain the decimal values so how much range can be allowed here how the float and the double differs here let us discuss the flow have the float the format specified is percentage f and its size is 4 byte and the range is given as 3.4 e minus 38 to 3.4 e plus 38 you don't need to remember about the range and all just to remember the specifier so how, what does the float do or what write as we can write a example for a float data type consider 5.123 that is how many decimal digits when we are having a decimal digit it is a, it is a float so how many di digits does a float support it consists of six digits so 1 2 3 4 5 6 for your understanding i had written as a continuous numbers so here we had represented six numbers so six digits are allowed here for a float data type and then the next comes the double in frequently we will use the float and the double in rare cases only we will use the long double and for the double the format specifier is percentage l of the size is 8 bytes an example for double is we can written as 10.123 etc for the float we had been said that it, it can able to support six numbers now after the decimal this double can able to support 32 numbers that is 32 digits after the decimal point that is the difference between the float and the double and the size is float occupies 4 bytes and the double occupies the 8 bytes and then for long double the format specifier the same lf can also be used and in some books it is referred as capital letter l and small letter f if you know more about this write in the comment section and the size is 10 bytes that's all about the float data type now we want to know about the signed character and the unsigned character let us discuss an important property of 
character is it can able to print the ascii value for example for capital a it is represented as 65 and for small a 97 there are some special characters also involved in the ascii values so when a when a character is declared as a character and in the print of when you want to print the ascii value when you declare as a integer percentage d you can now be able to print the ascii value let us discuss with an example so for a signed character and an unsigned character in the unsigned character each occupies only one byte only the values ranges between 0 to 255 and for a signed character the values ranges are minus 128 to 127 that is the 255 when divided by 2 we will get this value as positive as the negative numbers the minus 128 to 127 is represented in the number line with minus 128 here and 0 to 127 let us consider a two simple programs here character ch is represented as 291 say for example without this 291 let us consider an example it is represented as character ch equal to 130 when the value is declared as 130 what will happen when it is declared as character ch it is represented as a signed character the signed character ranges between minus 128 to 127 so after 127 when you want to add it will rotate like this the values will be taken again from here that is after 127 the next value will be calculated as minus 128 and then again the next value minus 127 similarly it will evolve so for your understanding for 130 how the value will be calculated 127 and three digits next three digits so minus 128 minus 127 and minus 126 so the output will be minus 126 when you want to print the value the value will be not printed as 130 it will consider as a minus 126 here it is given as a 291. 291 does not exist. Only 127 positive value is exist. So what happens? It will just pick a random value. That random value differs from laptop to laptop and from system to system. So for 291, it is randomly considered as here print of integer percentage D and percentage C is given. So for percentage D, It will pick a random value 35 and the character hash symbol that is the ASCII value for hash is 35. So for a random number 35 the hash ASCII character hash is printed here. This will be the output. This will differ for each system. You can check on your own. And consider the next program. Here we have to include the as usual, hash include stdio.h and then only main. Okay. Here it is declared as character ch. Whenever it is declared as a character ch, it is assumed as a signed character. Okay. In the for loop, it is given as a ch equal to 0 and ch less than or equal to 255. Here only 127 we are having. So each time when the loop evolves ch plus plus each time when the loop is incremented it will revolve between the two values it will oscillate between this 127 and this minus values that is between this minus 128 to 127 the loop will not be it will not come out of the loop for loop it will always get a random value and it will print some other thing so the loop will not be terminated so this is a error program so how to correct this so this character ch can be represented as a unsigned unsigned character ch so when unsigned character ch the values are between 0 to 255 here also we can 
change as 0 to 255 as say something 0 to 254 or 250 we can give. Now what happens? Already it has a value till 255. So starting from 0 each time the loop will be incremented and when, reaches, when it reaches the 254 the loop will be terminated and each time percentage D percentage C. So the each time the ASCII value will be printed for each incremented values the ASCII numbers and their particular characters will be printed. Now we will be understand with this program about signed character and unsigned character. Hope you are very clear about the integer data type, float data type and then the signed character and the unsigned character. The last one void it returns a null value. Okay, that's all about the data types. If you find this video really useful, share this video with your friends and make a small appreciation comment. Thank you in the comment section. Keep supporting Sai Suryas Academy. Thank you.